Hello, How everybody. Got to... Sorry. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Season 49 first round match between Seabro and his Orcs and Iravel and his Chorfs. In the booth with me, blah, 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 in the booth with me is <laughs> Fimey. Hello. Hello, everybody. Here we are for a high uh, agility passing game. <laughs> yeah, the Chorfs versus the Orcs is going to be, you know, uh, a bash. Mm. But uh, both teams have a lot of. Uh, tools so it's gonna be really interesting yeah. bit of a strange LOS here right though, though this guy was blitzable but um could have been blitzable but wasn't I wonder if there was a better blocking pattern on the LOS to try and you know like hit this these guys away so we could get the 2d on the uh, on the claw pommel because obviously both pretty good teams, lots of skills um, on everybody really. The Chorf team particularly looks amazing, to be honest. Um, I mean, a strength 5 dodge uh, bull. Mm. Yeah, both block break tackle, guard tackle, blodge strength 5. All the Chorfs have got like guard mighty blow at least. Uh, claw point. That in my book was a reroll, he has 4 rerolls. The Chorps has four rolls, they have the kind of, you know, the chance of getting rid of one of the blocks. Mm. Maybe. I'm not sure that was worth dodging out, honestly. Could just left him down, right? Like, Seabro's probably not going to foul. Oh, he does have a dirty player, so maybe he would. But even then, fouling armor 9, thick skull is not generally worth it. And I know, obviously, failing a dodge isn't that bad, but... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, my role was already invested in the Blitz. But well, I never happened to some uh, random piece after that. Yeah, no, I just I just I just don't like trying the dodge, it just seems not not worth it. And he's getting a bull pommed here maybe. No, oh, I know he goes for the claw pommel. Oh, I, I thought he could have he could have like run around. Blitz the blitz the bull and chained out the core pom, but I guess yeah, just hit him. I didn't realize it was the core pom anyway. But um, yeah, blitz in the core pom. The problem is this exposes himself, doesn't it? This exposes his own hit. Yeah. And uh, here he comes. Oh, he goes hitting. again for the black orc. And again, doesn't use the reroll. Yeah, I mean, I think he definitely should have hit Zebra's killer and should have rerolled it. I guess this way you can hit him into into another hit. So yeah, I guess this I, is actually okay. No, he hasn't done. Okay, right. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, he had the choice there. But she was, uh, you know, baiting the double skulls and into the bush. The bush. <laughs> How do you not push here and then hit him again? What the hell? You just choose not to make you blow a pommer. That's outrageous. Chalice nerves, maybe. That that the uh, line orc strength four block guard. Yeah, it's a hell of a. It's like a chaos warrior, isn't he? It's a block guard chaos warrior. Incredible. Really is incredible. Nearly the same TV as well, isn't it? So, just just ten k of bloat, and he's just a, a really good chaos warrior on an orc team. What are the inducements here? Nothing. I think uh, none of them have a. Uh... Cause for the claw pom again. Obviously, piles. I mean, oh. this is 100% deserved here, by the way. Uh, yes. This was this was really bad for my run. Like this is his win con basically because. His team's okay, like, well, it's good team, but it's only okay against against Zebra's team, right? See, as you said at the start, Zebra's, you know, Orcs with, uh, they've got more strength, they've got just as much guard, maybe more guard. Um, so it's it's tough for Chorfs, it is a tough matchup for Chorfs, and all the Chorfs have, really, is the Claw is like an equaliser, and maybe as a, as a trump card, and he just, he was so, super careless with him. Yes, and he didn't I even try to deal that, you know, with his main rip. Every blitz, every blitz that uh, he has done with a claw uh, bomb, I will have rerolled it. 
Mm. The chances of getting rid of a uh, black orc with guard is. Oh, there you go. He gets the reward for losing his. He gets the reward for being careless with his best player. <laughs> but that hurts Seabros a lot less than it hurts him. Oh. I wonder if uh, Seabros should have, you know, moved in the troll here so he could have uh, pushed this warrior and got an extra hit, uh, blocker and got an extra hit on him. But I guess he wanted to foul, you yeah, know, which is fair, but it's not a great foul, is it? Okay, it's a well, fantastic now it is, foul. Now it is. I will have done it. I will have done it. You know, every single day of the week. It was a perfect foul. Of course, I foul armor set on the nine thick skull all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's a really good. It's a really high value player, to be fair. But wow, yeah, that was a, that was. <laughs> what a difference to the Elrond match here. Eh? <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> two yes. fouls, two removals. Like yes. from both. I teams. think that Elrond's game, the fouling will make a calcium puke. <laughs> I'm sure it would. That was a great fun. I mean, result. Yes, I'm not sure whether it was a good idea. I'm not. I'm not sold on whether it was a good idea to foul. Another chores are here trapped in a bash, you know, uh, with not many options of movement or going anywhere, and the, the orcs are gonna dominate them. I mean, unless they get really, you know, bad dice or something like that. Yeah, he's only got four turns, so he has got to think about getting forward a little bit. Like, starting from now. <laughs> he's got to worry about this. Uh, he hasn't got dodge on the carrier, so he's got to worry about this. This uh, bull center. The Super Bowl. Yeah, the Super Bull there. He is just safe, isn't he? In, in the double dodge here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got to think about the double dodge as well, because obviously four plus quite realistic to do. I think I think you foul again now, right? If if you'd done the first one, the, now fouling incessantly is much better. Because yes, because there is no apple, there is no nothing, and you got uh, some good uh, chances there. Yeah, yeah, like he's already down men, so like you were only he was only just up in men when he when he fouled the bull. But now that he's now that he's down the bull, like the the material difference on the field is so great that you don't really lose anything this drive by fouled it by getting sent off, but you can gain yeah, so yeah, much yeah, more okay. for the rest of the match. <laughs> The rest of your liners are better than the player. Yeah, oh my god, another double skull. There's been a lot of double skulls rolled. Yes. A bit of an irrelevant block. I would have preferred hitting this guy and trying to get through. He's got to get forward. He does have to get forward at some point. Like now. I mean, yeah, like now, yeah, uh... like now, pretty much, yeah. And there is the bull double dodge, so. Oof. This, you can't make that block, see, bros. You have to get this guy out and right. You have to get this guy out in front first. You probably need that GFI as well. Yes, because the bull is string five, you know. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you would have had him. Yeah, so you have to do that GFI. Why can you go on the back? Oh, nice. Oh, no, Very can't good hit him. play. I oh, can't Wait. hit him. Not that nice. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. Well, at least he's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Wait. 
He was here, wasn't he? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he could have hit him by double dodging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so he could have... He could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could have double dodged and got him. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, try, nine. Try the, try the first one. Yeah, it's, it was only a double dodge. He had to go... Why? How did he not blitz him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But he just did one dodge, and I guess he just didn't declare the blitz. Or maybe he chickened out because he popped break tackle. But it's not the blitz because the player doesn't have the lightning bolt over it. Yeah. No, he, he did the double dodge. He just did two GFIs. And just he just must not have blitzed, yeah. So he didn't blitz, right? He just didn't blitz. He did the double dodge, and he only yeah. did two GFI. So he just, oh he just, he just obviously misclicked and didn't declare the blitz. Yes. Did anyone watch this live? Wow, wow. That was what happened. He did in a. Wow. So it was a great. It was a great spot on the play. The play was a great spot, but wow, what a uh, what a mistake at a maker. Ouch! Oh, that and now, now it's fucked him because now he just gets to run away, doesn't he? Oh, yes. that's brutal! What a tragedy for I Rebel. Really great. I mean, it was a great spot going around that way. Like you know, Seabro's obviously covered going up this way, which was the more obvious way to spot. But a great spot to see him going through the back and then, yeah, didn't didn't click blitz. What a tragedy. Darkest timeline for the chores. Yeah, that is that is an actual tragedy for them. Man, it was it was such a good blood ball play, but yes, such a bad blood yes. ball two play. <laughs> I mean that had he had to intend to blitz, right? Because you would never, you would never have just done the double dodge. Maybe you no, maybe you would. He can't. He had to intend to blitz. Oh wow, he's just one deep out of the enemy. He had to intend the blitz. He just had to. There's no way you, you like you do, you know, a dodge and three GFIs to base the ball. Like that's insane. So he, he had to. He had to have wanted to blitz. Wow, nice uphill. Well, it's ended up a good, a good defense anyway, hasn't it? Only the dirty player can score. I was feeling the gun. But yes, yeah, seems the Chorves uh, redeem themselves. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, he's done the four, three, three! Oh! oh Reroll! Oh, guys! He was right in the skies. He was right in the skies. <laughs> Narcolepsy. Oh, man. He did the four. He did the four four. What was it? The four three three two two. Uh, he did the four three three. No problem. But then fails the two twos. That is blood ball. I mean, to be fair, I Ravel deserved to get the stop from from that from that break tackle dodge that didn't the the break tackle blitz that wasn't a blitz. <laughs> Ooh. Survives the serve. Mm. Ooh. I mean, he could have just punched. He could have just punched him, couldn't he? 
rather than. I think he was uh, maybe looking for the two dice and uh, the piece. He was, but like that was two double GFI from the chaff and a dodge from the bull. When he could have just straight up hit the, the like the better player without mighty blow, couldn't he? I think it was probably not right. <laughs> but he's set up to win one 0 now, isn't he? Our rival just got to score in his own drive. Like, okay, he's down the bull, but I think he's still got eleven. Yeah, still got eleven. Still got a claw pommer that might do something, though he hasn't yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, now comes the the lowest hits. Yeah, and I mean that is a hell of a bolt to carry on, isn't it? Strength five. Yes, kind of and even five. the other uh, sure hands, you know, AG four. Uh... Yeah. Okay, this is screams quick score for the chores. Mm. Oh. Well, he's got two guys who it's, who it's... One guy who's a great carrier, one guy who it's impossible to get off, and then just a random hobble catches it. <laughs> oh, and there we go, the claw. It wasn't even the claw. The claw doesn't do anything. The claw hasn't attacked. I thought he was following the pile on, but obviously he was following to hit the uh, troll on 2D. Defenseless player with a claw pump. Always a good shout. Two big removals. Oh, apple! I like it. I like, I like the uh, power apple from C Bros. Okay, the <laughs> the Google score play has been abandoned very quickly. <laughs> I hope it was a quick score play because in a case of a perfect defense, you know, it would have been a complete disaster having the bull, you know, just there. Yeah, yeah. Could have put set up the foul. I mean, it's not a dirty player anymore, so I don't think he'll be fouling the troll. And like, if he was going to foul it, it would have had to be that turn because obviously he's going he's gonna to come crashing in a little bit. So... You don't want to foul a stun player. I revel does have to be aware of this dirty player. He doesn't want to get his claw on the foul, does he? Oh, now there is that the blitzer. Very oof, lucky. Very lucky. Here comes the claw. I think he's going for the other black orc. Yeah, it looks like he's going for the black orc. Yeah. Maybe not following. Maybe not following because he's very fine. Oh well. Doesn't get the knockdown anyway. We'll never know if he would have piled. I think maybe he wouldn't have piled there. Could make a big foul on the troll if he wants, but I guess he doesn't. Like the troll's a really good hit target, right? For the for the claw palm because he's defenseless, so he's. And for that reason, he's kind of a bad player to foul as well because he's the easiest one to remove by blocking. Cette formation permet d'avancer sans trop de risque. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. Oh yeah, this is a lovely, lovely 2D on the big ball, isn't it? Yes, yes. I was thinking, you know that the. Uh, Getting the hit with the claw bomb <laughs> or oh, another? How many damage scars have been in this game? For about, God's sake! I think Seabro's run about four. I think Iravel's rolled a couple. It's crazy. Maybe Iravel's only rolled one. Oof. I think that was the fourth for Seabro's. Third or fourth, definitely. At least four in the game has to be. And if Kinroth is here, you can't expect us to watch the game and know these things, okay? 
I don't, I don't keep count of things, you know, I keep count of the touchdowns because they are on the screen. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, he goes to the troll again. It's, like, it's defenseless, isn't it? That's the thing. Yes, I know he can pile on safely. Yeah, it's literally the easiest player to remove, so. While I did like the appoing of it, um, it is the easiest player on his whole team to remove, so. It's a funny one, isn't it? But it's a strength 5 guard, you know, you got a... It's a difficult one. Yeah, it is, yeah. I hate blocking this before moving these two, because they're not going to cheer for me. The trolls don't have thick skull, uh, mad skills. So... He's just defenseless, blockless, dodgeless, armor seven. <laughs> With Regin, but you don't care about Regin because if you win now, he's sorted. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There's no way Aravel is thinking overtime. He's, he wants to bang this in on turn eight and win one now. I love that there's a Chaos Warrior on the Choft on the Orc team. <laughs> yes, he's a, he's a mental. And I think maybe C Rose, you know, is a, now he has lost a couple of strength pieces. He can bully the Chorf as well as he was able to do in the first half. Yeah, yeah, and that's really bad, isn't it? Because it's nil nil, and he's got to get up. He's got to come up with a stop somehow, and he's he, he's down players again, and he just doesn't really have anything, does he? And that's the bad thing about Orcs. Like they are super strong. When they're, in, when they're ahead, you know, with the strength and guard and everything, but once they go a bit behind, they're desperation players or... Uh, yes, they, they are a bully team. Mm. Now I guess he, like, screens and gets to overtime and hopes he wins the toss in overtime. I think I'll prefer blitzing the hobble here. I, okay, he's got Juggernaut. That's, I mean, that's better. That's better that he's got Juggernaut, but... Still, I still like going for the defenseless hobble here. But I can see the point of Juggernaut in the uh, mighty blow. The mighty blow hit her out of the way. Yeah, see, so he's, he's just got a screen, hasn't he? He's just got a... He just has to set up this screen and hope it's good, which is... Which is asking a lot, really, like... Elf screening with orcs is... It's uh, the classic... Uh... Who's gonna, you know, give first? You know, who's gonna get that cast that actually breaks the balance? Yeah. Well, probably the guy with claw pop. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep, instantly. <laughs> Another black orc gone, and uh, yes. <laughs> and yeah, targeting He's... the black orcs so that he can, he can get strength parity somewhat, isn't it? And also they have a guard too, so it's like a perfect, they're a perfect target for claw pop. And now the juicy target is, is here, but more of the threat is over there, so you don't really want to blitz this guy this turn. You could though, no, you could just put a lot of players over here, blitz him and then get, you know, this Pommer could go three, four, five, six, and come over a little bit. He doesn't, he, he sticks, keeps where the bigger threats are. He's slamming in the strength and guard. But that's getting harder and harder with the last players he's got, isn't it? And there we go, one. Oh dear, oh dear. We just get two oh. down the line. Yes. <laughs> With mighty blows, so this slamming the guard in, not that effective. Oh, in fact it kills him. <laughs> the most dice man the most dice dork in Blood Bowl. <laughs> My favourite player. <laughs> My favourite player, man. Don't follow here. No, I like the not following, so you could blitz the dirty player with the claw palm. Oh our 3D. I 
I guess he blitzes the Black Orc with a Claw Palm. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I know he's blitzing the Strength Palm. It is turn 14, so... I guess prioritizing... Oh, yes. Now he can, you know... Take that side of the pitch. Yeah. All the Orcs nailed on the floor. Black Orc uh, useless. So Sibros has to go with a magic play here. Yeah. Yeah, this is tricky. This is very tricky for Sea Blouse. Oh, I like that as well. I like tagging the Pommer. I like it. What can do the Orcs here? Not fucking much. Okay, that's something. That's something, yeah, but I mean... Not enough. It's not enough. But we're in turn... Uh, it's gonna be two times less for the... Shorf, so... It's looking good. But uh, the the ball carry is still a little far away. Yeah. But I mean, this, this could be a pretty strong turn now. This, this could be the death of the Orc team. <laughs> Gets the knockdown, so he's got with the blitz, he's got four players free. So, yeah, opens himself up to one in thirty six, but. I think he could have. Uh, couldn't he have got everybody up further and blitzed this guy? I think that was the play because how many squares is the... Yeah, he's seven away. He's seven away, so he's going to have to GFI. Whereas if he'd, if he'd gone up here, okay, he's on the sideline, which isn't as good, obviously, being on the sideline as what is. But he would have been on the sideline, and obviously this guy is defenseless, and this guy, the one in nine, is bad. But still, he's chucking a reroll. I think, oh, well, here we go. Here he's, comes, he's here comes. Doesn't get the push. Wait, why he did uh, why he, he did roll? The first block uh, was a push out. The push was a nice option. He's yeah. moving there, you know. Yeah, maybe he should have accepted the push. But I mean, still Accepted. two GFIs. Like it's still pretty easy. Oh my god, it's still pretty easy, isn't it? But yeah, I guess maybe you're unlikely to pine, aren't you? You're one in four to pine. Maybe he just thinks it's not good enough. Yeah, I, I guess he just thought the push wasn't good enough. Yeah, obviously, yes, because he didn't roll it, but I think I would say, okay, this is enough. I already rolled, you know, enough dice with this player, and now there you go. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I, th I think, like, you're adding a 1 in 36 or a 1 in 6, aren't you? Like, you're not, you're not making that much harder, whereas 1 in 4, you put him down, and it makes a big difference. So, um... Yeah, well, well yeah, having a. If you go 100% decided to make the error, yeah, it's a. It's a good chance. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It is a 1 in 4. He's he's going to be. He's more than 25% to score that turn. If you yes. leave him standing, he's more than 25% to score. And if you if you knock him over, <laughs> he's probably not scoring. Like, almost certainly not scoring. So. Yeah, I guess. Well, it probably it probably is a surprising amount of score since he's got a bull there, you know, even though he's straight even though he's actually two, he's probably still not that bad odds to score. Probably better odds than you'd think. It'd be interesting to know, like obviously we we, we wouldn't be able to work it out because of all the scatters and everything and all all the sort of things that could happen. It would be really complicated to work out what actual percentage you would be to score. But There's a good chance of him being right, I guess. Hello, Kaylon. Hello, Kaylon. Well, there you go. A, a win for Iravel and his his claw bomber did kick off a little bit towards the end, but not too much. It was a. Uh, it was mostly, I guess. It was a uh, bashing, and the team that bashed the most won. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, what it was with Zebra in the first half, I guess he should have made more of a push right than he did. He ended up basically potato wing and then losing the one D. 
And question answer with Orox is, uh, you know, you always uh, think is, should I, you know, maybe base it more and be more bully when I was uh, in advantage or risking less uh, hits, you know, and just keeping position. That's eternal orc debate because, I mean, obviously, you know, base, 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 base with orcs can work very well. Yeah. Or your team can disappear. Yeah. Oh, God, is he going for the one turn here? I mean, he has a movement seven. Uh... Yeah, move seven, edge four. Oh, okay. I don't think he's got enough players to do it, though. <laughs> An orc can dream. <laughs> Just wag another orc out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just didn't have enough players. Oh, one though. square, eh? One square. <laughs> nice pass, mate. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Oh, well. There you go. I mean, well, I mean, you know, congrats to Iravel. At the end of the day, you got to say he deserved it because Seabros, you know, he, that that strength five hit that wasn't a hit on the ball. You know, he, he engineered yeah. that, didn't he? And then and then Seabros still had to potato and, and get bundied even after that. So yeah, I guess the not many armor breaks. Fun. Three armor breaks for the orcs. For yeah. God's sake. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, it's a bit unlucky for C pros. Because there was a lot of uh, how many blocks were during the game? I mean, uh... a lot. Yeah, Th well, not that many actually. Thirty-nine, forty-five. I mean, quite a lot. Quite a lot. But I've seen more. <laughs> the Orcs yes. did make all eleven dodges, <laughs> which is quite and good. all the really stupid. You know, well, it was mm. six. Uh, uh... Sixteen GFIs attempted. <laughs> Yeah, the armor was incredible for the uh, for the chaffs, and you know he had claw pom as well. Uh, he had he had tackle pom, didn't he? Uh, sea bros yes. uh, for half of the match. So I guess he didn't. Yeah. Maybe he didn't target hobgoblins enough. But then there you go. Hard, good players make it hard to target hobgoblins. So is what it is, isn't it? Yes. So yeah, uh, congrats, I Ravel, commiseration, Sea Bros. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely glorious having you in the booth. It's always a pleasure to be here. Cheers. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.